Good evening, East Alabama. Welcome into the locker room. I'm Namath Pitts. Hope you have had a great week so far. It is Friday around here. It's really known as Friday. But hey, we're going to have a great Friday. We've got a great show for you guys today. We have got highlights from the U-Triple-S-A State Baseball Tournament. You're going to see the Ramburn Bulldogs 7U team going head-to-head with Chelsea. You will see Oxford Blacks 8U team going head-to-head with Eclectic. And then our final game you'll see highlights of today is the Oxford Gold 8U team going head-to-head against Corner. So I was out at Chakalaka Park and Oxford Lake yesterday getting you the highlights. We're going to show you those in just a minute. But hey, I want to remind you to hit that like and follow button on our East Alabama Now page so that you don't miss the locker room. We're here three days a week for the months of May, June, and July. Once August gets here, we will get back to our five days a week. Also, we have our East Alabama Now news tonight at 6.30 p.m. Mike Stedham and Katie Edwards have your local news. John Holder has your local weather. And I'll be, I will be bringing you more about the U-Triple-S-A State Tournament on our sports. Again, that's tonight at 6.30 p.m. Another reason why it's important to like and follow our page is because of our big EAN Summer Giveaway. Guys, that is just a little over a week and a half away. Right here on the locker room on July 1st, if I'm not mistaken, that is a Monday. We will be drawing the winner live right here for that EAN Summer Giveaway. So in order to be entered in that, you're going to have to like and follow our page. You're going to have to like and follow some other businesses' pages as well. Interact with our content. If you do that, you'll be entered into our EAN Summer Giveaway. All right, I spent my day yesterday getting highlights. But before we get to the highlights, these highlights are presented by the Joey Cruz team. And so let me tell you a little little bit about the Joey Cruz team at Keller Williams Realty Group. When finding your next home, you need someone who knows this area inside and out. That's extremely important. The Joey Cruz team with Keller Williams Realty Group can work with you to find the right home at the right price for you. This includes all the neighborhood amenities that matter, not to mention the essential criteria you have for your ideal home. When it's time to move, you need someone who will advertise your home, show to prospective buyers, negotiate the purchase contract, arrange financing, oversee the inspections, handle all necessary paperwork, and supervise the closing. Well, they can take care of everything you need from start to close. They can sold on home selling tactics in which they can make your home attractive to its ideal audience, which can help you get top dollar. Things like staging the home, making repairs or minor improvements, or even simply painting the walls that can be a difference between a home resting on the market and one that sold fast. So today, go ahead and call the Joey Cruz team at Keller Williams Realty Group. Call them at 256-310-2294. Again, our highlights are presented by the Joey Cruz team at Keller Williams Realty Group. With that being said, let's go out to our highlights at Chakalaka Park yesterday. We start with the Ramburn Bulldogs going head-to-head with the Chelsea Hornets. Chelsea's batting first. Wyatt Mitchell hits an infield single that can't be fielded by Ramburn, and that'll have runners on first and second for Chelsea. Now, Nolan Hendon at the plate for Chelsea. Nolan Hendon's going to hit a single to left field as Hendon is going to be safe at first base for the Hornets. By the way, pitching coach for Chelsea, Stuart Morrison. Oxford grad right there. Here's his son, Houston Morrison, at the plate. Houston Morrison hits a ground ball to Oakley, who fills it and throws it to first base for the out. Rambert throws it back to home, keeps the runner at third base. Now James at the plate, he hits a fly ball that is caught by Rambert's able. Hendon, though, comes back to second. Going to advance to third base on the throw into the infield. He gets under the tag. He's safe. Hendon advances to third base. Now at the plate for Chelsea, it's Henry Waldrop. And Henry Walsh is going to hit a single to right field. And so he's just going to walk into first base, thinking about going to second, but ultimately going to stay at first. That's a single for Henry Walsh. Now at the plate for the Hornets, it's McLean Burnett. McLean Burnett's going to hit a ground ball to third base. That can't be fielded in time. Burnett is safe at first base for Chelsea. Now Barrett Lee hits a single. He's going to play with advance in the second. He's going to come back. He's going to take a couple steps. Trying to decide eventually... Oh, still doesn't know. All right, now he's going. Barrett Lee's going to go to second base. He's going to advance to second base. Hits a single to get to first, then advances to second base. Now at the plate for Chelsea, it's Chase Davis. Chase Davis hits an infield single that goes off the glove. Can't be fielded, and Chase Davis is safe at first base for Chelsea. Again, these highlights are presented by the Joey Cruz team. All right, Willard Durham at the plate. He's going to hit a single into the outfield. And then Durham is ultimately 
Going to wait a second, wait on the throw. Now he's going to advance to second base, and he is going to be safe at second base. So Willard Durham hits a single to the outfield and then advances to second. All right, Ramber now coming up to bat. They're going to start with Braylon at the plate. Braylon's going to hit an infield pop-up, but that would be caught by Houston Morrison for the out. He made a couple plays in the field, by the way. You're going to see him. All right, now at the plate, Avon Miller. He's going to hit one. That's going to drop. It's going to stay in territory, and that is going to be a single for Avon Miller and Ramburn. So Avon Miller is going to be on first base. That's going to allow Walker to score at home on a Ramburn base hit. And so Ramburn adds a run. West this time hits a ground ball. That is fielded by Chelsea. The fielder's choice would go to second base. It took a second here for them to say if the batter was safe or out. Ultimately, though, that would be uh, West. Carson Moore at the plate. He's going to hit one to deep left field. And follow me, we're going to go around first. Carson Moore is going to go around second. And this is what we call an inside the park home run. Carson Moore hits one to deep left field. He goes all the way around. Carson Moore gets the inside the park home run for the Ramburn Bulldogs. You see Moore right there. Now Grayson Langley at the plate for Ramburn. He's going to hit a single. That one's going to go into the outfield. He's going to look about going to second, but ultimately Langley is going to stay at first base. That's a single for Ramburn. All right, now at the plate for Ramburn, it's Oakley. He's going to hit an infield pop-up, but that is caught by Houston Morrison for the out. Houston Morrison is going to make back-to-back -back outs because now Connor is going to hit an infield pop-up, and that one is caught by Houston Morrison for the out. He made three outs in that inning. Every out went to Houston Morrison. All right, Chelsea is going to come back up to the plate now. They're going to be hitting Sam Davis at the plate. He's going to hit one. That one's going to go into the out, or excuse me, he's going to hit one through the infield, and he is going to beat the throw at first base. Sam Davis is safe on the infield single. Tried to tag him, but there's nothing there. He's safe at first base. All right, now Jack at the plate. He hits an infield pop-up, and that is caught by Hawk for the Ramburn out. Yeah, his name is Hawk. That's going to be one of the coolest names I've ever heard. He gets the out for the Bulldogs. Andrew Cornut at the plate. He hits a single into left field. And then he's going to advance to second base. You see Cornette running from first to second after the single. He's safe at second base. All right, now to play Braxton Williamson. He's going to hit a ground ball. That one's going to be fielded. It's going to be close. And they're going to say he did beat the throw to first base. So Braxton Williamson hits ground ball, beats the throw to first base. Then he's going to try to advance to second base. He hesitated a little bit, but Rambert's going to get the out. Braxton Williamson is out trying to go from first to second. All right, Wyatt hits one straight to Wes, who gets the catch and the out for the Bulldogs and throws it back to third. Wes, again, made that catch for Rambert. Nolan Hendon at the plate. He hits a fly ball. That one's dropped. It can't be caught, or couldn't be caught, pardon me. And the runners are now safe at first and second base. Houston Morrison at the plate. He's going to hit an infield single. That one can't be fielded in time. Runner's safe at second. Morrison is safe at first. All right, now at the plate for Chelsea, it's going to be James Jurgen. I apologize if I mispronounced that name. But needless to say, James is going to hit an infield single for Chelsea as he is going to be safe at first. That one couldn't be fielded. Now Sawyer Loveless for Rambert hits a single, and then he's going to advance to second base on the throw by Chelsea. So Sawyer is going to go into second base. Looks to go third, and yeah, nope, he's going to go back to second. But Sawyer Loveless is going to be safe at second for Rambert. All right, now batting for the Bulldogs, it's Briggs Brand. And Briggs Brand's going to hit one into the air. That one's going to go over the infield into the outfield. And that is a single for Briggs Brand of Ramburn, which brings us up to the plate. My favorite name yesterday, Hawk. Yeah, his name is Hawk. And that one's going to go through the infield into the outfield. And that is a single for Hawk as he's going to go into first base safely for the Bulldogs. Now Walker at the plate, he hits a pop-up. That one would be caught by Henry Waldrop for the out. So Henry Waldrop gets the out now. Braylon Robinson hits a single. That one's going to go uh, past the infield into the outfield. And Braylon Robinson hits a single. And now he's going to advance to second base on the throw by Chelsea. So you're going to see Braylon Robinson go from first to second. Now Abel at the plate. He's going to hit an infield ground ball. And Abel is going to be safe at first base. He isn't going to go to second. He's going to stay right there. Now Wes Smith hits a pop-up. But that pop-up's going to drop between two players right there, and that is a single for Rambert as Wes Smith goes into first base. And then finally, Carson Moore, the guy that hit the home run earlier, he's going to hit one into the outfield. 
and then he's going to go from first to second. That is going to be a double for Carson Moore. But ultimately, Chelsea got the win over Ramburn 7U by a score of 28-21. to So Chelsea got the win over Ramburn 28-21. to It was good to see uh, our man Stuart Morrison there, a former Oxford guy, lives in Chelsea, now coaches at Chelsea. Great guy, comes from a great family. So it was good to see him yesterday. As his Chelsea Hornets got the win 28-21 to over Ramburn. All right, we are going to take a quick break, but when we come back, we're going to talk Oxford baseball for the next two segments. We've got Oxford Black 8U and Oxford Gold 8U. We have those Joey Cruz team highlights coming up in just a minute. We'll be right back. Don't go away as we continue on on The Locker Room. We live in a world that moves quickly. And while we are able to connect faster than ever through technology, maybe you've noticed that real connection is hard to come by. Parker Memorial Baptist Church offers you a place to connect, a place to learn more about Jesus and the difference He can make in your life, a place to build relationships with like-minded believers or maybe discover what it means to be a follower of Jesus Christ, a place to use the gifts and talents God has given you, a place where we love God and we love you. Parker Memorial Baptist Church, 1205 Quintard Avenue, Anniston. Visit our website for details. Welcome back into the locker room on this Friday afternoon. I'm Nemeth Pitts. Today we have highlights from the U-Triple-SA Youth State Baseball Tournament. But again, I want to remind you guys, we have a big EA in Summer giveaway coming up on July 1st. You have to like and follow our page. You have to like and follow the uh, businesses' pages as well, our sponsors. So make sure you do that so that you'll be entered into this giveaway. It's going to be massive. You saw... All of the prizes that will be given away, we showed that this past Monday as Lisa Freeman joined me in studio. So in order to win that, guys, you have to like and follow our page. All right, with that being said, let's go back out to Oxford, but not Chocolaca Park. Let's go to Oxford Lake with our Joey Cruz team with Keller Williams Realty Group highlights. So let's go look at Oxford Black and Eclectic, which, by the way, Eclectic is over by Montgomery towards Wetumpka. You've seen the Oxford Black and Eclectic coaches meeting with the umpires for the game. Batting first is Eclectic, and it's going to be Stevenson who hits a single into the outfield for Eclectic. All right, now coming up to bat for Eclectic, it's going to be Schultz. Schultz is going to hit a ground ball that is going to be fielded by Kaysen Bice, and Bice gets the fielder's choice out as he tags second base. Stanley strikes out swinging for Eclectic this time, and that is going to bring Oxford Black up to the plate. Nolan Owen at the plate for Oxford Black gets a pop-up that is caught by Stevenson for the out. Now coming up to bat, it's Connor Legg. And Connor Legg is going to hit a pop-up as well, but this one would be caught by Schultz. There's two pop-ups, two outs for Oxford Black. Now coming up to the plate for Oxford Black, it's Creed Morris. And Creed Morris is going to hit a pop-up. That one's going to drop in front of first base, and Creed Morris is going to be safe at first base. Now up to the plate for Oxford Black, it's Kaysen Bice. He hits a ground ball. There will be an error by Eclectic right here at second base. Morris gets back on second base, and now all of a sudden Oxford has runners on first and second. Jack Steffens at the plate. He hits a ground ball to Schultz. Schultz fields it, throws it to first base, and they get the out. That ends the inning. All right, now back at the plate is Eclectic. Milam's going to hit a ground ball. This will be an error by Creed Morris on the throw, and that would allow Milam to advance not just from first to second, but from second to third, so the error on the throw by Morris allows Milan to go into third base safely. Now at the plate for Eclectic, it's Morrison. He's going to hit a triple to right field. You see that one go over the right fielder's head? That one's going to go deep to the wall, and that's going to end up being a triple for Morrison, and that would score a run for Eclectic and give them the lead. He thought about going home right here, but he changed his mind and went back to third base. Nope, now we're going back home. Pardon me, this is the run they scored on that play. All right, now at the plate, Whitehead. Whitehead hits a grounder. That one bounces off the first base bag, and Whitehead is going to be safe at first base. All right, this next play, this is a great play by Oxford Black. Pay attention. Williams hits a fly ball, goes to the outfield. It's dropped. All right, so Whitehead is going to go around first, try to go around second, and he's going to try to go around third. Whitehead's going to try to go all the way home. He's going to get called in a rundown. You're going to see him stop right here. Noah Cox makes a great play. He tags him for the out. Great awareness to make the throw to second, makes a great throw to second, 
and pulls the double play. And it all started with Noah Cox. But first of all, great play from the outfield to get the ball infield. Noah Cox to make that throw to second. And Oxford Black pulls the double play. All right, now Thornton's going to hit a ground ball to Morse. The throw is high, but Leg makes a great catch and tags the bag for the out. All right, Oxford Black coming back up to, ba up to bat. Jace Hanner's going to hit a single to right field. That one is going to drop. That's going to be a single for Jace as he goes into first base. Now at the plate for Oxford Black, it's Eli Harden. And Harden's going to hit a single as well. This one is going to go right into the infield, right over the pitcher into no man's land. Both base runners are safe. All right, Noah Cox now comes up to the plate. He's going to hit a ground ball. That one's going to get through the infield into the outfield. Pardon me, this is Jace Morris, not Noah Cox. This is Jace Morris. He hits a ground ball and gets through the out infield into the outfield for single. Now here's Noah Cox who does the same thing. He hits a ground ball that gets through the infield into the outfield for a single. And Oxford Black has something going. I love the passion, by the way, that Noah Cox plays with. Brings a lot of energy to the game. Jay Tarver is going to strike out swinging. And that's going to bring up Thornton now for Eclectic. Thornton's going to hit a grounder. That's going to be an error by Oxford. Bad throw. And that is going to allow Thornton to reach first base safely. He's going to think about going, but eventually he's going to come back. He is safe. All right, now at the plate for Eclectic. It's Spiner. I might have pronounced that wrong. If I did, I apologize. He hits a pop-up. That drops for a base hit. Then an error by Oxford Black would allow the runner to go from second to third. And now Eclectic has runners on the corners. All right. Andrew's at the plate now for Eclectic. He's going to hit a ground ball. That one's going to be fielded not by Morris, but by Bice. But Andrews beats the throw by Bice and is safe at first base. All right, now at the plate for Eclectic, it's Barron. He hits a pop-up. That one is caught by KC Henry for the out. Great catch by KC Henry and Oxford Black to get the out. All right, we got two, ch two Jaces. This is Jace Henry right here. It's a ground ball that is fielded. That is thrown to first base in time for the out. Eli Hard now at the plate for Oxford Black. He got a hit earlier. He's going to hit another one. Same thing in the infield. No man's land. It's going to drop. That's a single for Eli Harden. Jace Morris now at the plate. He got a single his last at bat. He's going to strike out this time swinging. Right after him, Noah Cox, who also got a hit last time. He's going to strike out swinging back-to-back -back strikeouts. But let's go to the last inning. Noah Cox this time is going to hit an infield single. Can't be fielded. He's safe at first. Oxford has runners on third and first. That's going to score a run, actually, so they're going to have Cox at first. Jay Tarver struck out his first at bat. Gets a big hit right here. That's a bouncer that bounces into a triple for Jay Tarver. He's going to go from first to second to third. That's going to score a run for Oxford. They were down 15 to 6. It is now a tie game. Oxford is one hit away from a walk-off win. How about the passion from Cox? And Stetson at the plate. He hits a ground ball. Ultimately, though, that's going to score Tarver from third base. And Oxford Black comes back from a 15 to 6 deficit. They get the win over Electic 16 to 5. And you see some celebrations from Oxford Black right here playing in the silver bracket of the USSA State Tournament team. And again, it all started right there. And the, they trailed guys 15 to 6. They scored 10 unanswered runs to get the win. They never quit. Incredible effort by Oxford Black. Ultimately, it took a string of hits from a couple guys all throughout the game, especially in the late innings. They get the win. And they were originally supposed to play Cordova. Cordova didn't even show up. So then that's how they ended up playing Electic. And so they just bounced over to another field so they could get a game in. So, All right, so Oxford Black got the win, but there's two 8U teams that are playing in the USSA State Tournament. Oxford Gold is the other team. Did they get the same outcome, which is a win? Well, we'll show you the highlights in just a minute as we continue on on the locker room. For over 60 years, Oxford Lumber has been servicing our area and our customer service has always been our main focus. Our customer service is what sets us apart from anyone else. From the moment you enter, our highly trained staff will treat you like family. To enthusiastically provide total customer satisfaction within a positive and self-fulfilling employee relations environment. Visit us at any of our four locations or at OxfordLumber.com. 
Since 1993, WM Grocery has been a major part of our local community. WM offers the very best in fresh produce and an outstanding meat department. WM also has many local products not found anywhere else and fresh sushi every day. If you need an event catered, come see Mrs. K at any WM store. Curbside pickup is also available for your online grocery orders. Be sure to download the WM app for all the deals of the week and shopper rewards. Go check them out today at any of their locations. We take pride in our community and appreciate your business. For metal buildings in Alabama and the southeast, Waldrop Manufacturing is your one-stop source. A Waldrop metal building provides the coverage and protection your investments need. They specialize in carports, RV covers, portable buildings, and storage buildings. Stop paying rent for storage. With Waldrop's price per foot, you can actually save money by buying straight from the manufacturer. Waldrop buildings are guaranteed because Waldrop manufactures buildings with U.S. Steel right here in Calhoun County. Waldrop Manufacturing, serving the entire Southeast. Give them a call today. We continue on on this Friday afternoon on The Locker Room. I'm Namath Pitts. Again, guys, you've seen it. We're talking U-Triple-S-A Youth State Baseball Tournament. A lot of action going on at six different parks this week. Oxford Lake has got games over on the field A's through field D's. They've got games up at Earl Martin. You've got games at Chocolaca Park. You've got games at Pell City, Lincoln, and Fort McClellan and Anniston. Six different parks. Busy weekend. Championship games will be on Sunday at Chocolaca Park. So, it's going to be a busy weekend for me, needless to say. But I'll tell you what, we've got more highlights today of Oxford Gold. So let's go back out to Oxford Lake with our Joey Cruz team with Keller Williams Realty Group. Highlights, you see right here, Oxford Gold and corner coaches meeting with the umpires before the game. Corner will be hitting first. All right, first at the play for corner is Porter. And Porter is just going to hit a ground ball right back to the pitcher. But Porter is going to beat the throw to first base. Porter is safe for corner. Now coming up to plate for the Jackets is going to be Nelson. Nelson's going to do the same thing. He's just going to hit a little infield grounder. That can't be fielded by Oxford Golden Time, though, and Nelson is safe at first. Now at the plate is Cosby. Cosby's going to hit one. That's going to go into the outfield. That's going to be an RBI single by Cosby, as you're going to see a run score at home for corner, and then Cosby ultimately would advance to second base for corner. All right, so corners already took a 1-0 lead in the top of the first. Now you've got Bush at the plate. He's going to hit a single. That one's going to go into left field, or more center, center field, pardon me, center left field, left center, you know. Anyway, Bush, regardless, hits a single, and that's going to score not one but two runs for corner. And you see Bush right there fired up. They took a 3-0 lead. Campbell this time is going to hit a single. That one's going to drop right, oh, right inside the territory line. That's going to be a single. And then Campbell is going to advance to second base on the throw by Oxford Gold. So that's going to score another run, and corner extends their lead. Now at the plate is Perrigan. He's going to hit a single to – that's going to go right through into center field. And you see the run go around third into home. Another run scores for corner. He is safe. And then Perrigan advanced to second base on the throw. Now at the plate is Minshew. He's going to hit a grounder. Oxford Gold, though, going to field it and throw it to third base and get the out in time. So Oxford Gold takes that fielder's choice out at third base, fakes the throw to first, that is an out, but Minshew is safe at first base. Tier is now gonna hit a pop-up that is gonna be caught by Briggs Gann for the out. Great catch by Briggs Gann to come in and keep the runner right there at first base. Blevins this time is gonna hit one right through the middle into the outfield. The throw though will be an error trying to come into second, and Blevins is safe at first. All right, Oxford Gold now coming up to bat. First up for Oxford Gold is going to be Rhett Watson. He's going to hit a single to left field. That goes right over the infield into the outfield. That's a single for Rhett Watson. Next up at the play for Oxford Gold, it's Braylon Bell. Braylon Bell is going to hit an RBI single to center field. That's going to go right there. Can't be caught. It's more like right center. Either way, you see the runner go around third. And Watson's going to go into home and score a run for Oxford Gold as Braylon Bell gets the RBI single. Now at the plate, Chris smith Lindsay. He's going to hit a ground ball to second baseman Campbell. Campbell's going to field it and just beat smith Lindsay for the out as corner gets the out. Briggs Gann this time is going to hit an RBI double to left field. That's going to go right over. That's going to score again a run. That's an RBI. Gann goes to second for the RBI double. Now at the plate for Oxford Gold, it's Micah Sparks. He's going to hit a fly ball. That one's going to drop, and that's going to be a single for Oxford Gold. And not only that, it's going to score another run for Oxford. 
as you see run go into home. All right, now J. Ray Fletcher. J. Ray or Ja Ray, I apologize whichever way it is. I apologize for mispronouncing it. But Fletcher's going to hit a fielder's choice ground ball. Corner's going to get the out at second, but Fletcher's going to beat the throw to first base. Fletcher is safe. All right, now at the play for Oxford Gold, Jax Ponder. He's going to hit one through the infield, into the outfield. That's going to go past the outfielder as well. And that is going to turn into an inside-the-park home run for Jax Ponder. You see one run score. Here's Jax Ponder going home. He's safe. That's an inside-the-park homer, baby, for Jax Ponder. All right, now at the play for Oxford Gold, it's Grant Woodard. Grant Woodard is going to hit a ground ball to Campbell. Campbell can't field it. Then an error on the throw will allow Woodard to reach safely at first base. Woodard being the catcher, a courtesy runner will come in for Woodard. You see Woodard run, Woodard run off. Kingston Spivey this time hits a ground ball. That one's going to go right through. That's going to be a single. And guess what? It's going to score another run for Oxford Gold. As you see the run right here score at home plate. Again, these highlights are presented by the Joey Cruz team with Keller Williams Realty Group. All right, now at the plate, Willie Howarth. Howarth, I apologize, mispronouncing the last name. Willie hits a grounder to Nelson, who fills it and throws it to first base for the out. And then finally, Porter back at the plate for corner. He's going to hit a pop-up and get another single for corner. So now Porter two for two. Nelson at the plate for corner. He's going to hit a fly ball to left field, and that is caught by Jax Ponder for the out. Jax Ponder makes a great catch in left field. How about this infield play right here by Smith Lindsay? Cosby hits a ground ball to Chris Smith Lindsay. Makes a great play, fills it, and tags second base for the fielder's choice out. Bush hits a pop up. Looks like it can be caught. It isn't. It's dropped. I would say that's an error. I don't know if they gave him a hit or not, but needless to say, it can't be caught in the corner. It's on base. All right, this time, this is one that can't be fielded. Corner thinking about it. Ultimately, corner, though, is going to score a run at home plate. And then you see right there, safe at second base. All right, this one's going to be a pop-up. Perigen hits a pop-up, and Grant Woodard catches it for the out. Great play by Grant Woodard. All right, now, next up, Rhett Watson for Oxford. He's going to hit a ground ball, and Rhett Watson showing some speed. He beats the throw. Watson safe at first base for Oxford Gold. Now at the plate, Braylon Bell. And Braylon Bell is going to add to his stats. He's going to hit one. That's going to go into right field. That's a single for Braylon Bell. And not only that, <laughs> we're going to go from first to home. That's going to be a run. Rhett Watson showing those speed, speed kills, baby. He's got some wheels on him. Uh, that's a run for Oxford Gold. Chris Smith Lindsay this time. Beautiful hit into the outfield for Chris Smith Lindsay. That's a single to left field. And then I almost got hit right here. I had to get out of the way. Just let everybody know I'm okay, though. All right, Chris Smith Lindsay gets the single. All right, now at the play for Oxford Gold, it's Briggs Gann. He hit a double to left field last time. He's going to hit another double to left field again. That's going to score not one, uno, but two does. Runs for Oxford as Briggs Gann hits an RBI double to left field. That scores two runs. All right, now Micah Sparks at the plate. He's going to hit a single to left, or really center left, left center. I can't talk today for some reason. But either way, that's going to score an Oxford gold run right there. And that's Micah Sparks. All right, now Fletcher coming back up to the plate. You see him right here. He gets a base hit. And Fletcher hits a single. He's also got some speed. Now you see him take off from first to second. He's going to advance safely into second base. All right, now at the plate, Jax Ponder. He had an inside the park home run last time. This time he's going to hit a grounder back to the pitcher. And that's going to be an error as well. But... Ponder beats the throw and error and is safe at first base. That scores not one, but two runs for Oxford. Grant Woodard this time is going to hit a single right up the middle to center field. So Grant Woodard gets a single. But Oxford got a little greedy, tried to go from second to third. And ultimately, Jax Ponder is out trying to advance to third base. All right. Next up, Kingston Spivey. He's going to hit a ground ball that is fielded and thrown to first base for the out. And then that brings us to our last one, which is Willie. He's going to hit a grounder right here. You see it? And then Willie would end up being safe at second base. But Oxford Gold again, both Oxford teams yesterday playing in the silver bracket. But uh, ultimately, though, Oxford Black got the win, and Oxford Gold also got the win. By the way, anybody that knows Corner knows that Corner is a traditionally good baseball program. Their high school team made a run this year um, in, the, uh, in the state playoffs for – 
high school baseball. So I'm trying to give you guys the uh, final score on that yesterday for Oxford Gold, and they won 20 to six. So Oxford Gold got the win, 20 to six. And those are the highlights presented by the Joey Cruz team with Keller Williams Realty Great. All right, that is going to do it for us today. Guys, next week we are going to be busy. Just to kind of give you guys an outlook of what next week's going to look like, I'm looking right here. We've got a football camp tomorrow that I'll be out at Ohatchee. We've got a wrestling camp Sunday. We've got an Aniston soccer camp starting next week. Weaver Baseball is going to introduce their next head coach. We'll be talking Southside basketball next week. FCA Power Sports Camp. You've got Weaver at Etowah, Oxford at Carrollton. You've got Sachs football at home, Oxford football at Gazin City, Donahoe volleyball, White Plains. There's a lot of action. We will have it unlike anybody else. That's a promise. So make sure you're joining us back here on Tuesday. Hey, join me on East Alabama now tonight at 6.30 p.m. We'll talk more about the USSA State Tournament. Other than that, have a great weekend. God bless, and thank you for watching The Locker Room.